With Adobe Photoshop CC 2022's new object selection improvements, you can now automatically select different objects in your frame. You can see here in Photoshop with the object selection tool selected and this photo, it's highlighting these different odd objects that it's automatically noticing. You can click one and from there you can do anything you want with that selection as if you were making the selection on your own. You can select and mask it to improve that mask. The other thing you can do is select multiple objects by shift clicking on a Mac. And from there, again, like you, I said, you can copy and paste to create a new layer. You can create a mask. You can choose the select and mask feature to improve that selection, feather it, contrast, all those things that are known by now by most people who make selections in Premiere Pro. So what makes this tool awesome? Well, it's just a better way, easier way, next level way to select objects in an image and have it automatically done so. A lot of this is automatically seen and you gotta make sure that the object finder option is selected. If you don't have an object that you want selected automatically appearing, which you can see all of them by holding down the N key on your keyboard, you can just click and drag over that object. You can see that it did a decent job, not perfect with this little flower. Let's try this one right here. That one did a better job. Or if you want, that was the rectangle mode, you could change it to lasso mode. Let's try this. I'm not using a pen, I'm just using my mouse. But let's see, yep, that did a better job. Once you've done that, you can also change the mode to select more or less of an object. So let's go to my rectangle. Say I want to select this entire bowl. So it's selected the bowl, but maybe I want to get that fork in there as well. I can go into the add object option here with the rectangle or the lasso. Let's see if the rectangle works. I can hover over the fork and it does a decent job. You could change this to subtract or intersect and that's going to adjust it accordingly. Now the object selection tool is good for selecting individual objects in your frame. Now you'll notice that if I wanna just select this entire bowl with all of the contents, this doesn't do a great job at doing that. If I click and drag, it's, start, it's trying to find individual objects within this selection. So that's where you might want to just take your quick selection tool from there and just select everything. Now. The quick selection tool from the beginning might be a better tool to use if you're just selecting this bowl with all of the contents inside, but the object selection tool is just that, to select individual objects. You have all your other options here, like select sampling all layers, or if you want to change it from, or look for hard edges or not. And so if you have multiple layers, it can you can, do that similar to using the selection tool for in the past. But say I want to create layer masks for all of the objects in the frame with that layer selected, I can just go up to layer mask all objects. And from here, it's going to create layer masks for all of the objects, which can then be used to adjust the individual objects with different styles or properties. I'll show you in a second. This image is a little hard because it's, there's so many objects, but if you're just taking a photo with like a car in it or the Eiffel Tower or like just two or three clearly defined objects, it's much easier. Now I kind of have to pinpoint and see, okay, well, which one is this right here? And then from here I can go in, add any sort of adjustments I want. And here I'm adjusting that individual object of my photo. So practically, there's lots of different reasons why you would use this object selection tool, but technically, how you use it is pretty simple. Object selection tool, hover over the object, click it to select it, shift click to select multiple objects, and then go from there. Cheers, and I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop CC 2022 update tutorial. Check out my other tutorials for more updates from Adobe.